I think California is doomed, dude. I think business owners, landlords, the general public, normal human beings uh, choosing to live or do business in California is completely doomed. Uh, recently, right, a big topic, a discussion, big story is all of the insurance companies are leaving the state of California. And I can almost guarantee you that all of the landlords are going to follow suit. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> All right, y'all. Welcome to the Ask James Wise Show. I'm talking to you guys about your real estate questions as well as questions I think you should be asking, questions I have, things I like to discuss, right? And today we're talking about California being doomed, right? For everyone, right? Specifically, what we focus on, what we like to talk about here on Holton Wise TV, though, it's real estate, real estate investing. And I think... Uh, that all of these insurance companies leaving California, I think all the landlords are following suit right after, dude. People are leaving California like crazy. Landlords and insurance companies, they're going to be, you know, right there at the hip. They're going to be following them out the door, right? So if for some reason you're not in the know, a bunch of insurance companies are leaving California. A lot of it has to do with like extreme risks, their 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 inability to like quantify uh, pricing to a high enough level that covers all of the risks they have to deal with, um, insuring the people of California, mainly because you have like massive wildfires and like big freaking companies. Lots of carriers have left, and that is really causing an issue with people in California, right? I got a list here. Uh, this is not a complete list, but this is some uh, some of the insurance companies that have left. Biggest, you know, the two two bigger names in the game: State Farm, Allstate. Then we have uh, Tokyo Marine, American Insurance, Trans Pacific Insurance, Meritar, Unitrend, Kemper, and the list goes on and on, right? And these are insurance companies just leaving the state, right? Meaning they are no longer issuing policies to homeowners in the state, right? That in and of itself, right? That creates another burden on landlords, right? For those of you who own rental property or who are thinking about getting into rental property investing, you should know that getting a policy on a rental property is much more difficult than it is to get a policy on an owner-occupied property. You may ask, why? Why is that, James? Well, it's because a rental property has a higher level of risk than an owner-occupied property, right? In short, the tenants aren't going to treat the house like the homeowner would, right? Statistically speaking, house fires, damage, things of that nature, much more common and frequent in rental properties than they are in owner-occupied properties, right? So it's very difficult to get yourself a policy if you have a rental property in California. Now, with the fact that everybody and their brother in the insurance game is leaving the state, how are landlords going to protect their risk, right? How are they going to mitigate risk that comes along with being a landlord when they can't get insurance? That is one reason I think they're following the insurance carriers out the door. But that is just one of many reasons, right? On this show so far, these are the topics, the laws, uh, the proposed laws and policy changes that I myself have covered in California that go uh, against landlords, that try to attack landlords, that try to push landlords out of the state, right? We've covered several different types of extended eviction moratoriums in California, right? Uh, we did a story on them trying to ban landlords from banning tenants with pets and or charging pet fees, okay? Many parts have or are in the process of making landlords doing criminal background checks on potential tenants illegal. Areas of California are trying to do a tax on house flippers, right? If you flip a house, they'll give you an extra tax on top of the already massively high taxes. If you think, oh, well, I'm not going to flip it. I'll just hold it, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it vacant because I don't want to resell it real quick and pay that house flip tax. And I also don't want to get stuck with a tenant who doesn't pay rent and their pet that I can't ban 
uh, destroying my house, and then when I want to evict him, I can't evict him because of the eviction moratorium. I'll just go ahead and leave my house vacant. You might be thinking that. Okay, yeah, sure. They've proposed a vacant house tax that I've covered, okay? Uh, there's even parts where they're trying to get you to pay tenants rent if you are one of the lucky few <laughs> landlords in California who's actually able to evict a tenant, they want to make it so you have to pay their new landlord some rent, okay? Of course, all the squatters' rights and things of that nature. And the list goes on and on and on. They want to hit property owners and investors with additional taxes and penalties to help solve their homeless problem, which is massive, okay? You want to talk about a homeless problem? There's a whole bunch of renters in the state of California. If all the insurance companies leave and then the state does what they're trying to do, which is push all the landlords out and they follow the insurance companies and they leave too, who's going to have houses for all these people to rent? Now, a lot of these people are not in a position financially, responsibly, or otherwise to own their own home and there's going to be no landlords providing housing anymore because the state is trying to push them out. I think the state is trying to go to public housing for all. All I know is that California is doomed. It is a freaking nightmare. And if I were a property owner who had property in the state of California, I would be following State Farm right out the friggin' door. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.